But look, somebody lost an article of clothing there. It's playing right the street there, but hey, we got bright, beautiful sunshine here. What is it? Uh, March 19th. Is that correct? Yeah, 2024 here. Tuesday. I'm a little late getting started today because uh, I had to finish up some things at work here. But uh, better late than never, right? And we'll wait to cross the street here. I'm just trying to check out my second phone here there we go hold on a second here I'm making sure I got the date correct <laughs> yeah March 19th for some reason I'm thinking it's closer to the 21st because uh, I know we got the Chicago hinge coming up where the uh, east-west alignment of the streets match the uh, sun rising and setting directly east so we'll uh wait for that hey christy thanks for tuning in paula good afternoon yeah i'm, I'm late getting on today there's the green line round in the bin there we'll uh we'll head into the loop today we got uh, 43 degrees at least that's what the elevator said we got sunshine the sun came out so uh paula sharon shannon christopher thanks for tuning in yeah good to see you chris Christopher and Chris and we got several Chris's and we'll head through the loop today we'll see what's uh, shaking yeah Tuesday March 19th 1220 yeah I'm late getting started I had to finish up a few things at work sometimes it's hard for me to get out right at noon and uh, thanks for uh, being patient here look pokey ramen coming mammoth mammoths coming here they're gonna have mammoth pokey downtown right here next to elephant castle so we'll see what else is uh may how's it going sandra danny thanks for tuning in here yeah welcome back to the loop of chicago you know we might see the green river it's right over there of course we filmed it yesterday so i think everybody's about had enough of the green river so we'll, we'll head to the sunny side of the street here we'll cross uh wabash and there we're underneath the L tracks here. We'll head straight over to the uh, Chicago Theater and we'll see if they update it to Marquee. And then we'll head through the loop. We'll start, we'll head to the other side there. Anna Marie, how you doing there? Yeah, the Lunch Bunch, thanks for being on. And yeah, we'll go by the Fashion Nails. Look, it's, this place is always packed. All throughout the day, people get their nails done. Scenes of the city here. We got the food truck, Harold Washington College. And uh, yeah, this morning we walked on the river walk on TikTok. It was still green. And, uh, but hey, we're past the St. Patrick's Day festivities. We're gonna cruise towards Easter. Many other holidays coming up, Passover, Easter. We're in the month of Ramadan right now, so. Happy Ramadan for people that celebrate that. And, We'll uh, continue uh, over to State Street here. Look, underneath the uh, side entrance to the Chicago Theater. Crystal Blue Funk, how you doing there? Kevin, how you doing? The Cliff Dweller. Hey, thanks for tuning in. That Cliff Dweller, you said a lie la hello, hello last week. That was great. Thanks for stopping by and uh, meeting up in the South Loop there. That was great. Yeah, Country Wayne, the King of Hearts Tour. They have updated the marquee here, so we'll... We'll wait to cross. We'll cross to the sunny side of the street there. But before we do, we'll check out that yeah, Chick-fil-A. You see that Chick-fil-A video on TikTok that went viral? That nice woman that worked at Chick-fil-A, she just, with her googly eyes, she kept making that face. One Chick-fil-A sauce, and then it went viral. And then they, it's almost like ruined her life. Isn't it weird that, you know, one thing could go viral and then people just keep making memes out of it and it takes over your life. But I guess it's a good problem, right? Uh, right. Yeah. All publicity is good publicity. But uh, hey, here's State Street. Country Wayne, King of Hearts Tour. Chicago Theater, we'll get a nice view of it when we walk down State Street. Richard, how you doing there, yeah? Election Day, yeah, thanks Cliff Dollar, thanks for reminding me. Yeah, don't forget to vote. Today's the Illinois primary and there's a major tax and a tax uh, change to the tax laws of, of Chicago that affects, uh, if you sell properties over a million dollars, there's an additional tax and it's supposed to go to the 
unhoused homeless, which it's controversial. It's already gone to the courts. And so if it passes, it'll be challenged in the courts. But we got to vote on it, so get out and vote today. And uh, hey, how's it going there, DSP in Chicago? There's always a truck parked there. There's always a truck parked there blocking the view there. There's the uh, Channel 7 News. They got, oops, I, oh, uh, look, they, they put up, they put up the little, I guess they did this for the uh, St. Patrick's Day. They put up the uh, little fence around there so people wouldn't get too close. But there's the Chicago Theater, yeah. Country Wayne, King of Hearts Tour, Chicago Theater. And it was, it was saying something about like, it was like some kid show or something before after I forgot what it was even. But uh, wow, look at the Jewelers building there, the Chicago Theater. Yeah, vote early and often to the Chicago way, right? You go to the go go to the cemetery there and dig up some votes. <laughs> what what was that old saying? A woman said, "When I die, I want to be buried in Cook County because I want to be remain active in the Democratic Party of Cook County." You know, that's the old joke. But uh, yeah, you know, the elections still matter. So few people show up for these primaries and stuff anyway. Danny, how you doing there? Yeah, the truck. That truck's always there. Yeah, thanks for... Yeah, I'm better late than never. I got started late today. But here, we'll just head down State Street. It's such a nice sunny day here. 43 degrees. This might be the warmest day we get uh, this week here. Let me warn to get across uh, Randolph here. We'll film the uh, clock for the old Marshall Fields, which is now Macy's. And look at the... Blick, the Netherlander. Look how nice that looks. Let's see if there's anything in Daily Plaza. And uh, yeah, that Blick. That, that that it looks like you know like I always expect like a German cuckoo clock character to come out of that coat of arms there, that window. It's because this was after the Century of Progress in 1933. They had you know prohibition was just repealed, so they made it a German beer hall and that's why they moved like the Italian village and this was like the German thing they moved it into the loop here and then they saved the facade when they built this building in the 1990s I think and then they you know this used to be the Oriental Theater the Iroquois Theater before that narrows the Netherlander it's the same theater it's beautiful inside there Jay City Walking Girl has some nice footage inside there seeing a musical I think she saw a uh, Mrs. Dowfire, and here's the uh, Block 37. But uh, hey, Shannon, thanks for tuning in. And yeah, oh, there's a lot of German heritage in Chicago, just like Irish heritage, African American heritage, Latino Hispanic heritage. We got it all. Asian American, all, all your Polish American heritage. We have a huge, probably the largest Polish American heritage community outside of Poland is the Chicago and that's you know all the Polish cathedrals Italian heritage we got it all here in German and uh, even my Scots Irish hillbilly ancestors they're 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 here too so here we'll go uh, and I say that affectionately not as a pejorative because I'm talking about myself and so uh, here we'll head uh, we'll head across uh, the Goodman Theater this is Dearborn, so you got the bike lanes. You know where we're at here. And we'll cross into Daly Plaza. Yeah, they got some tents set up. I don't know if anything's going on here. I'm looking for signs that the farmer's markets are gonna return. I don't know when they're gonna start them in spring. And uh, we're almost to spring. According to the county, I guess we're in meteorological spring. But, uh, yeah, Chicago has the largest Polish population outside of Warsaw. I would agree with that. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's amazing, you know, the and how so many of the Polish neighborhoods have changed. And that's why so many people ask me to go to West Town, Lawndale, you know, Pilsen, all these, you know, that, that, that are now, you know, the, 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 the um, ethnic enclaves have changed. The Daily Plaza is empty. And see how if they if they don't program this it becomes devoid of people because it's just a big empty plaza. But there's Channel Two News. They're doing the 
noon hour report. Here's the eternal flame. This is to the all branches of the U.S. military here. Those that have fallen, there's an eternal flame right here in Daly Plaza. Here's the Picasso. Look how nice that looks here. So, uh, what do we want to do here? Do we want to head over to, we can go back to Millennium Park. We could check out the river, but we checked out the river. There's, yeah, I, I, I don't think Chicago has a Polish parade. I guess we, we, we celebrated uh, Pulaski Day. I know there's Kochescu, and I'd say his name wrong. I can't pronounce his name wrong. Uh, there probably should be a Polish, like, Pulaski Day parade. Does anybody know anything about that? Um, I, uh, I know there's a Columbus Day parade in the fall for the Italian-Americans. And, uh, of course, very large Mexican Independence Day parade on 26th Street. Uh, it's not just the Bud Billiken parade. There's other African-American parade celebrating i don't know if we're going to do anything for juneteenth juneteenth would be a wonderful time to do an african-american parade in chicago and i don't know anything if uh what they're planning for this year but here we'll head across dearborn and uh washington here we'll get out a bike path here yeah we'll head we'll head let's go straight back to millennium park we will take advantage of this nice sunshine i just want to cut into the loop a little bit yeah, let's do that. Let's let's go right into uh, Millennium Park, and then we 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 can uh, see what's happening over here. Is anybody got Eric? Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks so much for the Sheba dog there. Thanks, Eric. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for understanding. I know that sometimes the moderators, my moderators are great, and Chris knows what I'm talking about. We were talking about sometimes people get muted for misunderstandings. You know, and it happens. So thanks for understanding. I appreciate it. Mary Therese, how you doing there? Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, Richard Gardner, Chris. Yeah, let's see, let's see if the, the grandstands are gone. Yeah, they, they're usually pretty quick about we can go. We, yeah, we can cross the bridge there and look down Columbus, right where Chris marched for the, Chris marched in the uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade, which was great. And uh, thanks for tuning in there and everybody else. If I missed anybody else. Hey, you can stay at the Pineapple here. This, this iconic hotel. We'll, we'll show it the, the Atwood. And this is a, uh, well, this is this restaurant. But there's a hotel there, the Pineapple. Right at State in Washington. There's the Muddy Waters mural here. Hey, we got the light here. We'll head right across State Street. Carson Prairie Scott used to be right there. It's the Gothic Target. There's a nice view of the Chicago Theater and Macy's. There's the pink line heading across the Wabash here is always a flurry of activity. Block 37. State Street's looking good. There's people walking around State Street. Primark. We got the Rita Ora. I don't know what that is. People shopping there. Hey, they got some bull stuff out. NBA. LA Lakers. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, see, so Macy's, you see how it's a combination of several buildings, you know, that they, they, they use the square footage of all these buildings. But look at this one. Look how, look at that detail. See, just developers, we won't, we won't, we won't pay for this much detail in an architectural facade anymore. But, you know, back when they built this building, probably in the 1890s, was all the rage there there's the uh gift shop for the museum of illusions remember we we went in there we checked out the the vortex tunnel gave me vertigo <laughs> flashbacks i know i was talking to some of you about that and i was like that's yeah, awesome hey <laughs> who needs who needs psychedelics you can just go in the vertigo the vertigo tunnel there there's the cottage grove green line head south station here so we'll head under uh, the Wabash look how dark it gets down in there yeah you gotta go through the tunnel there and there's the look how the light filters through the L tracks there so what am I missing here good yeah, thanks Eric thanks for understanding there thanks for tuning in on YouTube too Annette good afternoon yeah yeah psychedelics 
Yeah, yeah. They, 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 you're probably right. The cost of emission is pretty steep for all these uh, museums down there. Look at the Pittsfield building. Of course, we've gone inside there many times. The Pittsfield Cafe is inside there. There it is, the Pittsfield Cafe. Go inside the lobby there. So it's about the landmark here. And yeah, we'll go right by the uh, cultural center here. And uh, yeah, let's head out into the sunshine. Let's see if they took down the grand, the grandstands there from the parade. They probably have, I'm sure. They, they usually don't waste any time. I saw another thing about how there's the there's the L going by. Uh, the L going up. It's a uh, brown line heading north there from the Chicago Loop. Grant Park's being used for either NASCAR, Lollapalooza, Taste of Chicago, so that most of the summer it'll be blocked off, you know, and, and it's it's interesting for people that use Grant Park as their park that it's being continually taken over by these corporate sponsored takings of the commons. And of course they pay the city to use it. But it's mainly to get people to stay in the hotels and pay the hotel tax, <laughs> which is interesting that they're leveraging the public parks to make money for the local tax base. So I guess it's just the nature of any anything that can be monetized will be monetized, including the, the Chicago lakefront. Of course, there's the bean. Look, there's the ice skating rink. Of course, it's closed for the season. Anita, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, Buckminster Fuller. You saw that Buckminster Fuller cube at the Museum of Illusions. Yeah, if you missed it, I got that YouTube video where they got a mirror bucky ball, a geodesic dome ball there. And it, in all directions, it just goes in the infinite. They got a mirrors in there. The Museum of Illusions there in Loop of Chicago. It's not a big museum. You know, it'd be really hard to pay for a whole family to go there. But if, you know, if you want something to do, it's worth it. Uh, I think it's like 20, 30 bucks to get in there. But here, what? Hey, how's it going? I appreciate it. Thank you. So here's some few people checking out the bean here. Here's the great bean of Chicago. We're, I'm still, I'm like, what are they waiting on? You know, to get this thing, get this thing's done. I guess they got to wait a certain amount of time for it to seal. Yeah, we'll zoom over the fence here. Here's the bean of Chicago. I want to be able to walk underneath it. See, they, he's got the same, he's got a taller selfie stick. That's awesome. Yeah. All these people taking, uh, let me get out of their way here so I'm not, not in their uh, shot here. People taking uh, pictures of the bean as close as we can get to it here. Yeah, it's looking sexy. It's got a diaper. <laughs> it's got the duct tape underneath it there and yeah you see how look how it has this little trough around it I guess they can plant trees there that's what that's what that trough was for look people are getting on anywhere you can get up to uh, catch a glimpse here what time we got here 12 37 yeah, it's beautiful sculpture thanks Christopher for being on Daryl yeah Burbank Illinois thanks for tuning in Daryl part of the lunch bunch here and look at that beautiful bean footage here look at the nice skyline along Michigan Avenue behind it there all the way down and there's the top of the Sears Tower Pittsfield building look at that plane look there's two planes right in a row there huh airspace we'll talk to Jeremy about airspace Please excuse our appearance. Okay, uh, get it done. So that's what the siren is. The guy's moving on the crane there. I guess they're checking the speakers or something. So we'll walk by this thing. Here's the Prisker band shell here. The Frank Geary band shell. Can't wait till the symphony is practicing there in the summertime here. How's it going? What's up there, Brian? Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Yeah, Brian, really Chicago. That is great. Thanks. That's awesome. See, look, he knows. He knows. He knows what's going on. And uh, he probably he probably sees me walking through this park all the time. He's like, "Here's that guy streaming there, huh?" 
Orson, yeah, Mark, Mark calling Orson, come in Orson. It's the egg, it's the giant egg from Mork and Mindy, yeah, that's, it could be that, it could be the flight of the navigator, if you saw that old 1986 movie where Pee Wee Herman was the voice of the alien, uh, Paul Rubens there, I think it was a Disney movie that came out, where the, that alien spaceship would change form, it was like a liquid being that kind of looked like it that's what when it first i was like it's the flight of the navigator being it's an alien spaceship it's going to take off there and morph into a different form so let's check out the Lurie gardens let's see if we can see some signs of spring here and uh yeah walking man and a working man yeah we're both working this is the city that works I know he recognized me. It's freaking me out, you know. It's just... I didn't really get into this with the intent to be famous. I just wanted to... Just like Jay, City Walk and Girl, me and Vic Cohen and... Visca Chicago and Manny Manuel Vega, who has a different name now, I know. On TikTok, he drives around a taxi. <laughs> Somebody's got to do Chicago, you know. That's why Christopher tunes in from the East Coast. People tune in from different areas of the world and country just to check out this footage and that's why i get annoyed when people are like they have preconceptions about chicago and they want they have an agenda and they're just like let me walk around and just just uh enjoy it and that's what you guys do i appreciate it. i know i'm always walking around the loop here here's some this is convenient for me for my lunch here's here's the little little blue flowers like the crocuses you can see them over there Yeah, let's do not enter staff gardeners only. Okay, so there's a path over there. Let's let's go down. Look at the Sears Tower, Pittsfield Building, over the Smurfit Stone and the Aeon and everything else. So they got these nice little stone walking paths. Here's the this is the Lurry Gardens. Again, this is a green roof. There's parking underneath this. They got these little alcoves and benches. I just want to check out these purple flowers. Am I still streaming? Okay, good. Oh, the Lollapalooza lineup dropped. Yeah, I know. I'm Welcome to my world. The older I get, I don't recognize all the younger bands and DJs, EDM music, and, you know. And so, probably like last year, I probably won't go to Lollapalooza, but I'll film the crowds because it's such a great people-watching experience. People dress up, and then they got all the uh, bike taxis that ferry people around. And then there's so many people in town that weekend that it's a lot of, you know, after parties. All the clubs are usually filled with, uh, yeah, he's taking a picture of it too. Look, that's why I want to come over here. We'll check out the beautiful blue flowers here, signs of spring here, Lurie Garden here. Magnolia tree is going to be full bloom. That is amazing, Chris. Chris lives up by the Wisconsin border. And look at that. That shows you what a mild, a mild winter and early spring we're having, even though we're having a colder snap this week, it's still not too bad. And here, look, Lurie Garden, seasonal interest. They got the tulips, blue giant, so that's what that is, glory, glory of the snow. Turkestan tulip, grape, hacienth, squill, prairie smoke, narcissus, narcissus, giant snowdrop, crocus. There's the purple ones are the crocus. The blue ones are the the glory of the snow. So these are glory of the snow. And there were some purple ones. The crocuses are actually purple. But look how, let's see if we can get that. Look, look at that. Yeah, look at the skyline. And we got the beautiful flowers here. Larry Gardens here, Chicago. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, look at, look at, look at them here. Wow. There's this little canal thing. You can throw pennies in there. Man, yeah, look at that skyline. Yeah, it's bad for the allergies. Yeah, see positive, negative, everything. It's beautiful, but it's bad for the allergies. So we do the best we can here. There's the nice flowers here. Lurie Gardens here, Chicago, Illinois. And it's just nice that this is here. You know, I for many years, I would just walk through here. I would see other friends and colleagues, architects and engineers, just vegging out here, enjoying the beautiful weather you know bring your lunch out here they got a few places you can sit over here and uh we'll head right up to the head here oh is it dennis's birthday thanks sandra so happy Bernice birthday to dennis 
Michael, thanks everybody. Yes, I, did, I didn't see that. Thanks for, uh, eventually I get it. Yeah, Dennis Haggerty, happy birthday. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're having a good one and appreciate you spending a little time on your birthday here hanging out with the Lunch Bunch. That's great. And uh, it's like a postcard, yeah. Look at that, the Sears Tower. That's why it's just, you know, it, that's why spending time with you guys, it helps me get out. I get depressed like everybody else, and I'm like, what am I so depressed about? There's a, it's this world of abundance all around us. You know, I, I get to work. I'm, free, I'm lucky I get to work downtown here. And, uh, yeah, I could work from home, but then I wouldn't come be able to come down and see all this stuff, you know, walk across this bridge. So, Chris, we'll check out the uh, Columbus parade grounds when we cross this bridge here. Let's see if my connection holds out here because we lost it the last time. It's always so weird. Sometimes it cuts out right here. Other times it doesn't. There's no rhyme or reason to it. And I try to figure it out. But hey, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to Chicago. Here we are. There's the Bean, Millennium Park. There's the skyline behind us. We're walking across. They call this the BP Bridge. And uh, there's the Pritzker Bandshell, Cloud Gate. The Great Lawn here. And uh, can't wait to that summer jazz and blues fest the symphony in the park movies in the park yeah exploring different things just get out in the city here and walk around and that's one of the advantages of living in a city as vast as this there's always i can't even get around to all the areas as people know and there's always once you go to one thing it leads to another thing that you did go a little further Yeah, it takes it off the depression. That's what, yeah, we got to, we got to, we got to constant, it's a constant battle. I can relate. And just think of Sarah, you know, please people send your thoughts and prayers to Sarah. I think a lot of people know Sarah from TikTok. She runs the, the leader of my uh, moderator team. She's been with me for over a year now and she's going under surgery today so hopefully she's uh through it i'll keep you posted and i mentioned it on tiktok this morning but she asked me to you know mention it which i am happy to do and uh look at look at uh here's columbus columbus avenue this is where they had the saint patrick's day parade and yeah all the grandstands and where the mayor and everybody sat there's gone they get it's a, it shows you how they they already have it back to they probably had it back to normal after sunday there and uh that's good yeah hey, thanks for the healing vibes to sarah there shannon and and uh i'll tell everybody that people send her kind words and she'll appreciate that she's always like sarah's like when people you know like those those two nice women came and saw chris and brandon and i walking up clark street on saturday when we were walking up to Riggerville, and she's like Tell them that Sarah appreciates it too, because Sarah knows I I wanted to give up. I wanted to give up live streaming. Chris knows it too. It was hard. I didn't know how to deal with the trolls. I didn't know how to deal with criticism. And Sarah encouraged me and blocked and helped and Chris too and Anita and Diana and everybody else, all my great moderator team. Mary Therese knows what it's like. And uh several other people jay everybody you know and and uh it's hard other people deal with the same thing too i, I tuned into major hustler a little bit last night there was sunshine in seattle tim's a great guy he walks around seattle there on his scooter and it was nice to see sunshine there in seattle but you know the he he knows me and i know him because just like jay we know what it's like to to, to be a streetwalker and it's hard because people will rip you apart people won't even know you and they'll 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 make insults to your mother and you're like what did i do to you you know it's just that's how they some people use social media so sarah and chris and others you know make this possible because it's uh it's just a side effect of social media and the rest of us want to tune in and just watch and enjoy it 
And I mainly what my moderators do is make sure I don't lose it because sometimes I fly off the handle and they're like, man, why did he fly off the handle on such a stupid comment? But they, they, they don't realize how it gets under my skin and uh, I should just ignore it. But sometimes if you ignore it, they won't go away. They, they, they consider it weakness. <laughs> you have to address it full on, you know. And uh, eh, enough of that. But hey, let's let's enjoy the uh, beautiful sunshine. And uh, yeah, people are miserable. That's what it is. I know. I, I keep trying to explain myself and win people over. They don't care about that. You know the mentality. You know, and uh, yeah, space age modern. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for keeping Sarah in your prayers. Thanks, Anita, for mentioning that. Yeah, Sarah's, she's been going through a lot. And I know other people that tune in, you're dealing with your own uh, personal health battles and recovery, uh, physical therapy. That's hard. My dad went through physical therapy after his knee replacement. It's hard. It's painful. I mean, you know, I see people doing it all the time. And uh, here we are at 12.50. So we'll, we'll just head straight up to, uh, we'll walk across Columbus. We'll, I don't, we'll walk straight up Columbus and we'll head over and check out the Green River there. We'll uh, head up to the river and we'll go a different way. We'll go, we'll, we'll go on top of Columbus. And uh, so we'll get a better view from above and uh, yeah, Mary Trees. Yeah, it's it's awful. Yeah, you know what it's like, but it's worth it. You gotta keep going there. Yeah, what happened to like just being polite and kindness? You know, I know it's just we've lost it as a society. I don't know if we ever had it. You know, it just it's more it's more in your face now. You know, and uh, here we are in a modern society with all this technology and vast wealth and abundance, and we're still fighting over traffic and airplane seats and <laughs> the world can get annoying I know you know like they're running look at the kids running over there they're running down yeah look they're doing a race they're doing a great race there <laughs> but yeah now the officially the another sign of spring the ice skating ribbon here at Maggie that Maggie Daly Park is closed for the season and they'll, they'll start getting the climbing wall stuff out and letting people rollerblade through here. But it was fun while it lasted. We came over and filmed it a lot. And it doesn't cost a thing, yeah. It's free because it's yours. This great uh, parks and lakefront that we all share. So if, again, if you just join, we're in Chicago. See, there's the skyline of Chicago. You can see the Sears Tower. The Smurf and Stone building there on the right, the diamond shaped building. Where uh, we crossed over into Maggie Daly Park. And we'll just head across the wide Randolph Street. And we'll back around. We've got some wind. Look how large this building is. So they added 30 floors to this building. Can you believe that? So when I moved to Chicago, it only went up to here. The Blue Cross Blue Shield. And while it was occupied, they added 30 more. 20, 20 30 more floors to it. It always needed to be tall. We never looked tall enough. And here we got some wind. Anytime we get around these tall buildings like the Aeon, it catches a lot of wind. And uh, 1,100 feet tall. We'll head across uh, Randolph here. But hey, look at the Columbus Avenue skyline of Chicago to the Sears Tower. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know what they're—I don't know what they're working on here. They've been—they've been having this under construction for a while here. So, which side of the street? We'll go on—we'll go on this side of the street here. There's the Prudential, the Aon. Yeah, see, so we walked across that. We went across that. Now we're going back here. Oh, we got the light here, so I'll cross. We'll cross here at uh, Randolph. head under the Aeon. Looks like the World Trade Center, but it's not. And there's the uh, Radisson Blue inside the Aqua building. Another Genie Gang 
there you can see the aqua really well there so uh, we'll get it up closer and uh, yeah, the Aon Center 200 East Randolph if we go up in this plaza hey look at the pigeons <laughs> somebody's fed, fed the pigeons there how you doing pigeons but here's this empty plaza the empty modernist plaza that no one goes to and then they redid this part plaza but a lot of people liked it better when they had the fountains I hate to say the whoever designed this they did a good job but then people missed they it was like a I think it was just too hard to maintain it they knew that it was going to be hard to maintain with those fountains so they just got rid of it the new ownership and that happens a lot but here look at the uh, aqua feet are sore yeah Man, it's two genie gang buildings right next to each other the aqua and the st regis there winnipeg canada thanks for tuning in yeah thanks you found a chicago live streamer there's me and jay city walking girl there's vic cohen and there's also uh liz gay chicago but yeah thanks for we're here on youtube and i also got a tiktok channel the same thing brian really chicago Usually in the morning and the evenings we're on TikTok. I'm on YouTube. So if they ban TikTok in America, we're set to go here on YouTube and we can film in 720 landscape. And it's a good uh, backup to have. I also am on Instagram, but I usually don't use Instagram. It's just a backup to the backup to the backup. But we might need it. You never know. But thanks, thanks for tuning in from uh, Winnipeg. That's great. Yeah, the aqua's interesting. Look at that, how it's supposed to be like rippling water filtering down the side all every every floor is unique with the balconies those are balconies and uh they, they're supposed to have unique views each of them and it's all residential except for the bottom which is a, a hotel but look in chicago we got green trees march 19th already isn't that amazing and so we'll head up columbus if you stay on from winnipeg we'll show you the green river we died the green river I'll, the river is a block and a half north of us, so we'll head up to the Chicago River. And we, of course, if you check out yesterday, I have a live rerun. You go to the live tab on my YouTube here. We walked all along the Green River at the Riverwalk, the Chicago Riverwalk. And ducks were swimming in the Green River. There were boats going by. On Saturday, a few people jumped in the river. You're not supposed to do that, but, you know, of course, somebody was going to do it. Get that liquid courage. Hey, that's good. Thanks for finding me on TikTok, and thanks for finding my YouTube. See, you're smart. You just go to the go to my page. There's a link right in my bio. People are like, "How do I find your YouTube?" I'm like, "There's a link in my bio." You know, it's the same name. I know it's hard to find stuff sometimes. Look at this. So here's the Fairmont. We've gone inside the Fairmont when we did the Pedway. They got this nice sculpture, or it's a, it's a, yeah. And look how they got the clock tower. And they're building Chicago. Look at that. They got the plane there. Got the bridge over the river. Yeah, there's the Radisson Blue. Look at that aqua building. Genie gang. So here, yeah, we'll head right down uh, Columbus. But the Fairmont's a nice hotel. Look how you can see the Prudential right behind there. And uh, we're on Columbus and Southwater. Look, they're towing a car. They're towing a car down to the Lower, lower. There's the Chicago Fire Department. There's a nice view to the St. Regis. And, uh, yeah, that's Chicago Fire Department. We film that often. And, uh, here's how you get to the lower levels of Wacker, Michigan, Lakeshore East. There's three levels below us. Many accesses to the Pedway and the parking. Because this is not the ground. We're, we're, we're well above the ground here. I'll show it to you when we get to the river here. The Columbus Plaza here. Luxury residential residences. There's the... Uh, that's that building. That, that, that's residential. That There's a basketball court up on that level. This is the side of the Hyatt Hotel. This is offices. These are all offices. 303 East Wacker. This is another rip off of a Mies van der Rohe building just like the one I work in but there's the Sheridan and there's the Chicago River you can't even tell it yeah you found the best thanks everybody 
You walked four miles yesterday? That's great. Yeah, Maddie. That's good. Walking the dog. Distracting us. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we'll go see the Green River, Christopher. Yeah, thanks for being on. We're almost there. So, uh, hopefully it's still green. What time we got here? One o'clock. I know people got to get back to work here. If you missed it, we walked along it all day yesterday. So, if you watched the live rerun from yesterday on YouTube, you can see the Green River. And, of course, on TikTok, we got all those videos. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll run across the street here because then we can go down the stairwell if we want to. Chicago, we're at Wacker Drive in Columbus, and I'm going to try to peer over the side there. There you see the Wrigley Building, the Trump Tower, and the uh, back side of the Intercontinental. We'll wait till we get the light here. There, we got the light. Good, so we'll cross. So we're pretty high up here. You see how this is Wack, Upper Wacker Drive. It's like a causeway. You see how it's actually above Columbus. You can't even tell there's a river there now. Isn't that amazing? It looks like, you know, and then We'll pop over the side here. There it is. Look at it. It's still green. It's still bright green. Look at the Green River here. That's looking towards Navy Pier. Here's uh, from Columbus. This is right where we started on Saturday, where they started to dye the Green River. Look how nice it looks here. Am I streaming okay? And it's interesting when you walk across the bridge there in the center, you can look straight down and see the green below you. Yeah. She watches it down close. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I work by the Prudential Building. Yeah, I work right near there, so that's uh, generally where I walk to every morning on my walks to work here. Thanks for tuning in here. Yeah, we'll get the boat going by. See, we got you some nice images of the Green River here. We'll see if my... Sometimes my connection cuts out right here, but it's doing good today. So thanks for tuning in. Welcome to Chicago. Here's the Green Chicago River. Four days, four days. We're Tuesday after they dyed it green on saturday and it's still looking nice it lasts for several days look at that look at that sightseeing boat that's the bright star boat going by there it's a architectural cruise and what a nice day to take an architectural cruise here in chicago they got that dinner cruise boat across the way stream is good good eric thanks for the feedback and uh yeah we'll get this boat going by look how look yeah we got the wrigley building the whole Streeterville skyline there and uh, we'll get by this bus there's a bus behind me here you can't see it there there's the Columbus Avenue bridge that's a draw bridge they can lift that thing for the sailboats and see we'll look right out that's the Usable Lakeshore Drive bridge way out there by the lake there we're looking towards the lake there and uh, yeah look at this beautiful Green River, <laughs> like Clearance Clearwater Revival, we got a Green River right here in Chicago. Someone asked me this morning, they were like, why did they dye the river green? I'm like, if, if you know, and it, and it might be somebody tuning in from another country, I understand, you know, I explained it was for St. Patrick's Day, but I'm like, you know, if you can't figure it out, I can't help you. We've been doing it this in Chicago every uh, St. Patrick's Day since the early 1960s. And there's many other things that we do to celebrate different ethnic heritages. Very diverse city. And we're proud of all our heritage. Here's, uh, yeah, look at that nice view. You can see the John Hancock on the right. The, the Wrigley building with the clock tower on the left. The Green River, they got, they're getting ready for the sightseeing boat. Isn't that nice? Yeah, see, it's the, get, get that song in your head. CCR, it could be worse. And John Fogarty. And uh, yeah, we'll head right over to the. Look how nice this looks. You can see the London House, well, the 333 Wacker Building, or yeah, 333 Michigan Building, the London House. We went up to the top there with Bob. There's the uh, Marina Towers, Trump Tower. They, there were people all on that deck there on Saturday. And then there's the Wrigley Building. Look at the Tribune, look how nice it looks, the Wrigley with the Tribune. And then we got the Green River below. There's the Green River. Oh, I'm almost losing my hat. We got some wind. We got some wind. Uh, there's the Michigan Avenue Bridge, Usabo Michigan Avenue Bridge. There's the Apple Store. You see the Apple Store right there? That's where Jean Baptiste Point Usabo had his cabin with his wife, Kitty Hawa, and uh, she was Potawatomi. 
he was a fur trader during the French colonial days. We got a statue to him over there. And uh, look how the Green River's looking nice there. So we got you some images of the Green River. And uh, yeah, I better get back to work. I know I started late, but I got stuff to do today. So we did a nice little cruise through the loop and Millennium Park and got to the Green River here. So I appreciate your attention there. We'll put this in the archives and we'll, we'll be on TikTok tonight. Yeah, it's non-toxic, it's non-toxic. Thanks, uh, thanks Cliff Dollar for the good information. I know it's more complex, like people say it's like food coloring, but it's more complex than that. They use it to, uh, the plumbers union used it historically to discover leaks. You know, they were trying to find the slow source of the pollution entering the Chicago River, and then they noticed it dyed the river green. They said, hey, we could use this to, uh, for St. Patrick's Day when Richard J. Daly, the father, was mayor of Chicago, Chicago in the late 50s, early 60s. And, and Mayor Daly, the old mayor, he wanted to dye the lake green. That would have been really bad. But uh, they, uh, they decided to do the river. Here comes the Evening Star. It's the same one we saw. It turned around, and now it's heading back. And, uh, yeah, look at the tour boat in the Green River. How you doing there? Look at that. Look how you get the John Hancock with the boat there. George Thorogood and John Fogarty, that'll be a great... I'm so happy that John Fogarty got the rights to his songs back because they were, they were screwing him over on his uh, song rights, you know. And that goes back to the CCR days, you know, and so... Uh, it wasn't just the old blues guys like Louis Armstrong and Muddy Waters that got screwed out of their rights. It happened to John Fogarty too. The music industry, music industry stiffened the artist, but that's great. Yeah, George Thorogood and and uh, John Fogarty. That, that that that's a great combo there. So we'll look for that. So here we'll just head down Michigan Avenue. And we'll head back to work here. We got 106 in the PM. Thanks for tuning in. I got uh, Fannie Mae chocolates right here. There's the crumble cookies, the Blackhawk store. I got uh, two slices of pizza waiting for me back at my desk there. So I'm going to enjoy that. Have my late lunch. And uh, we'll go back to work here. Yeah, thanks for the information, Cliff Dweller and uh, Michael Anderson. Nice to see the garden starting to bloom. Thanks, everybody. I know everybody's got to head back to what you're doing here, so we'll uh, we'll wind this down once we get across uh, Water Street. And uh, we'll head back to work here. Oh, yeah, that's 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 why. Yeah, you're right. It's orange. It's, if, I noticed when the plumbers did it, it was orange powder when it goes in the water and it, it turns green really quickly when it when it mixes with the water and so the actual powder that they put in to dye the river green is orange and that explains it well cliff dweller yeah and uh, that's why the, the, the guy the guys putting it in there they wear these hazmat looking suits and it gets it gets covered with that orange powder because it blows it blows back up when they're in the boats you know but here honorary shannon delway South Water Street, carbon and carbide building. We'll get across the street here and we'll ramp this up. But hey, thanks for coming along for a little tour. We'll see how the weather goes. There, there's chances of rain later in the week, but we'll we'll dance amongst the raindrops. We'll walk home tonight on TikTok. Check out that footage. I still got, I was up in Uptown last night on TikTok, so I got all this great footage to post on TikTok of the Uptown Theater, the Green Mill, the Aragon, the Riv. And we walked by some churches and some other. Oh, well, that that Schlitz! I want to fill. I want to post that Schlitz Tide House. They used to have 37 Schlitz Tide House. You know, they with the Schlitz logo on the side. There's a beautiful one up there, north of Argyle and Broadway. And so we filmed that. We went by the SNA Studios where Charlie Chaplin filmed some of his movies in 1916. So check TikTok for some reruns from up to Uptown if you didn't see it last night. And uh, we'll catch you later from downtown Chicago. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I appreciate it. Thanks, Crystal Blue Flunk, Shannon, Michael, Mary, Krista, Anita, Anna Marie, Chris, Michael, Cliff Dweller. Thanks for the good information, Scott. 
and uh, people tuning in from Canada and all over the place. Thanks a lot there. Have a good day. We'll